Hi guys, welcome to the channel and to the energy update for my friends Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus, so let's find out together what's coming through for you. Energies for you, Queen of Swords, Ace of Pentacles and the Ace of Cups. Energies for your person, Seven of Pentacles, the Chariot and the Five of Pentacles. What can we expect for this connection? Nine of Swords, the Hermit and the Queen of Cups. The Oracle cards, Heart with a Key, Seduction, Palm Tree, the Dragonfly and Passion. So guys, are you tired of the explanations, potential excuses that your person is offering you in order to justify why your connection is not moving forward? Because if the answer is yes, you may very well decide to call your person out, Queen of Swords, accepting no BS, telling it like it is, about what? About the Ace of Pentacles and the Ace of Cups. Heart with a key or a cool card. The opportunity to build for the future. Because there is not only love available, but also stability. The chance to share a vision that can stand the test of time. Time is a factor because your person is buying time. They have been doing that with a certain nonchalance in the recent past, Seven of Pentacles. Their mentality is not on point, guys, if we follow the Five of Pentacles and they can struggle to communicate with you. At the same time, they will be forced to face a crossroads, the chariot. Seduction and passion are not going to be enough anymore. Palm tree, stability, security, permanence, growth, some of the keywords. I love the fact that we see palm trees in the Queen of Cups card. This is what you want, the opportunity to share a partnership with someone that can also be willing and ready to cooperate with you in order to be successful. You want someone that can be there for you just as much as you can be there for them. And this is remarkable as a mindset. Unfortunately, your person metaphorically feels left out in the cold because chances are they are struggling big time with the idea to move things forward. The Nine of Swords is all about them. You can be a little bit anxious because there can be a nagging feeling that this person is dragging their feet. It is more than an option. Hermit, taking some time off in order to evaluate how to tackle the conversation if we follow the Queen of Swords. I am a little bit concerned with the type of feedback that this person can offer you because they can say that they love you. And let's say that uh, their words can be genuine. And what about their actions? Their words can be spot on. What about their actions? What about their effort? And if you realize that the intentions of your person, of your lover, can almost reach a peak, you know, um, they can almost hit a wall and they cannot move forward anymore, you may start to consider even the Hermit energy as the path towards singlehood. Because this means that the Ace of Pentacles and the Ace of Cups cannot be shared with this person because they do not feel it, you know? They do not feel the progression. Guys, let's go for another round. Let's see what we can get. Uh, things are coming to light if we follow the Dragonfly Oracle card. Here we go. Two of Pentacles for the Queen of Swords. Uh, you are tired of waiting. Two of Cups for the Ace of Pentacles. You want a serious relationship. Five of Wands for the Ace of Cups. There can be turmoil, guys. You can question the willingness of your person to invest time, energies, effort, attention in favor of this connection. You can even think that they are not serious enough. You can think that they are looking elsewhere, you know, there can be distractions maybe. King of Wands for the Seven of Pentacles. 
hesitant to take action, ace of swords, for the chariot, this person will be forced to make a choice. Either they are all in or you can be all out. Seven of pentacles again. They are buying time. Queen of cups again for the nine of swords. Ten of swords for the hermit. This can be an outcome, guys. And two more. Let's get them. King of swords and the four of wands for the queen of cups. They wanted to come out, so much for the queen, the king, the four of wands can be a topic. A desire for a real partnership. Queen of pentacles, bottom of the smaller deck. Then we have the sun. Chance to amplify our inner happiness. Is it possible in this connection? It doesn't seem to be the case. Guys, I want to say that if you decide to end this connection, there can be a Ten of Swords moment. You can bounce back stronger and better than this person. This is for sure, despite the disappointment. Seven of Cups, questions and doubts. You cannot understand what your person is doing in the connection. What are they doing? They are pretending that you have just met, but this doesn't seem to be the case because of the time factor Seven of Pentacles related. Page of Swords, you can look at your person trying to figure them out. They are casual. They are acting like a page. Now they will be forced to share an adult conversation. And we can fight, Knight of Swords. And there can be Ego, Five of Swords. This is not positive, guys, because it's your person, the one that kind of expects from you to settle for what they want. You may not be willing to do that. The Queen of Swords is going to stand up for herself. You can also be a man. The conversation is going to be honest, guys, and um, it's going to sting. That's for sure. So you thought that this was a chance to grow together with this person. You thought they were the one. You were willing to open your heart in their favor. You thought that the connection was a real chance to be successful. And then the Two of Pentacles, the Seven of Pentacles combination of energies has started to play out, you know? The connection has been put on pause, standby. And now the situation is stuck because of that. Your person is the catalyst for the stuckness, guys. And they should be honest. Do you want to move the connection forward, yes or no? If the answer is no, the other person is free to go. There is no other way to sugarcoat the pill. If instead this person is willing to move things forward, let's do it without wasting any more time. This can be the conversation that some of you can try to bring to the table. Uh, this person can say that they are passionate about you, King of Wands, if we think about the Oracle cards passion and seduction, but if we think about commitment, so Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Cups, Four of Wands, they are in a Five of Pentacles mentality, so a small energy. And what they can say to justify their hesitancy can be something that doesn't make any sense from your point of view. So the Chariot is going to be a crossroads, the Chariot is an energy about success, but in this case, the success that can be on paper can be basically thrown out of the window by this person because they can offer you feedback that you may not like. Guys, and I say so because despite the fact that we got the Four of Wands in the mix, the Ten of Swords together with the Hermit is more meaningful if you ask me because there can be an evaluation that you can be called to fulfill, and if you pay attention to the intentions of this person and to how they have been behaving within the connection with you, you may realize that they are not for real. And I can understand that for some of you, <laughs> this can be a disappointing consideration to hear, but the connection may lack something important at the core of it. It's a matter of honesty. This person may want a connection with you. If we think about a fun situation, but if we bring to the table more responsibilities, uh, they get cold feet. And so, thanks to the conversation that the two of you can share, 
the four of wands as a long-term vision can be something that you may realize is not available in this connection and the Ten of Swords is the direct consequence for that. Unless you want to settle for a connection that may not have the real chance to fulfill your expectations. Let's say that you want to build a family. Let's say that you want to get married and so forth. And this person doesn't. What are you going to do? Are you going to settle for what they want? Be careful because uh, things can change. It's just a matter of time. And then there can be resentment. There can be bitterness. There can be discussions, you know. It would be wise to be honest, guys. And you will have the chance to share an honest conversation. And this person will not have the benefit to shy away from it. Unfortunately, somehow, some way. Someone is going to lose. I would say that this person can lose you because you may make the conscious decision to leave behind a situation that doesn't feel right anymore. And at the same time, you may not be willing to sacrifice what your heart may want for you only to please what this person may want at the moment. This is like, you know, um, delaying gratification because you may not get the chance to manifest the four ones with this person, but you may get it just around the corner if you release a situation that has been stuck for a while now. And if this person doesn't want to make a choice, if we think about a higher level of commitment, and you do not like the situation that you are currently in, you will have to make that choice so that you break free from the loop, the Two of Pentacles loop. And also from the rough waters that we see behind the man. The price to pay is the Ten of Swords, guys. I will not sugarcoat the energy. It's difficult to handle, but there is a new dawn on the horizon when we power through it, you know? And the sun that we have seen from the smaller deck can describe also the opportunity for you to find new connections that can be more in alignment with your desires. Because the other person may want the same thing. When this one instead doesn't. Guys, I hope that I made myself clear and this was helpful somehow, some way. If you want to comment, like and subscribe, it will help our channel to grow. So thank you. And until next time, I wish you all the best. Take very good care of you. And I will talk to you soon. Bye.